Welcome back. It is 516 this Saturday morning. We're taking a live look right now over Congress Square. And Aaron, I have to say, seeing the snow on the trees and on the ground, it was so pretty yesterday. It's the perfect kind of fluffy snow. It didn't cause a lot of power outages, which is good. And it's just, you know, if it's going to be cold, it might as well be snowy, in my opinion. It was good snowball snow. Yeah, exactly. I know. Like, I, there's nothing worse. In, I mean, it's I don't know what's good for skiing, so don't hate. But, like, <laughs> the real fluffy stuff that you can't do anything with is probably better for skiing. I think, yeah, I think so. I'm but, not like, I love the real, like, the snowball -y snow. Yeah, it was hard to clean off my car, though, because it was so dense and thick. So I still have not. Oh, have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably, it definitely frozen overnight and made it more Exactly, difficult, it made it so. much worse. Well, it's right outside in the parking lot, Chloe, so I'll <laughs> okay. enlist your help after this It'll be a fun project today. after the shows. <laughs> we'll have everybody come out and give a hand <laughs> in for that, even though nobody will want to, so I won't make you. But it is going to be a much nicer looking day for your day today. We're seeing a lot more sunshine in the forecast this time around, so it's going to be brighter. It's going to be a great day to do any outdoor activities just because we have yesterday's snow that was the first of the season that blanketed the whole state. Now the clouds moved out of the way, so once the sun rises here in about two hours, you'll get a lot more sunshine back in the forecast. With that, temperatures are staying pretty good as well today. We're going to get up just to the freezing point, so nothing that notable, kind of just on par with where we normally would be. But this for your morning is going to make everything a little bit more slick when you step out there for sidewalks and some parking lots and even some roads just because the water that's run off from some snow is since refrozen. So just be aware of that. Nothing widespread to worry about, but you might have a couple spots that you slip on as you head to your car this morning. Now, other than the temperatures for the day, the ski forecast is going to be great outside. Lots of sunshine in the forecast for the day today. Temperatures right around freezing out there. We got all the snow yesterday. A lot of people getting around six inches for the most part. So it was pretty good. It's going to be a pretty good day overall today. Like I said, great to do anything you want to do outside. Tomorrow, not too shabby either. We will have more clouds building in through the day tomorrow. But we're going to start to have some more snow popping into the forecast here as well. So pretty good weekend coming up overall. Now, like I said, we're going to have that sunshine sticking throughout your entire day today. So really not worried about too much of anything at that point. As we get into your day on Sunday, we are going to have another system starting to move through. And as that does, that's going to start to bring more snow chances and rain chances back into the forecast. Now, whereas we got a lot of snow last time and southwestern Maine started with it and got a bulk of that snow yesterday. We're going to see a rain snow line hugging just along the coast here as we go into your day tomorrow night into Monday morning, which is going to mean the coast is going to have less snowfall unless this low tracks off the coast a little bit more and can allow some of that cooler air into the forecast as well. Inland going to see higher snow totals this time around because you guys will just have slightly cooler air that's going to allow that in the forecast. But like I said, that'll start late Sunday, last through most of your day Monday, but start to taper off here as we head into that evening. That's why there's a winter storm watch, not really along the coast, but just a little bit further back. Where that's going to go from tomorrow at 9 p.m. until 4 p.m. on Monday. So not a warning, not an advisory, kind of somewhere in between on this one. These are some snow totals that we're looking at. Going to have to keep updating these as we go through the rest of your weekend. But the snow totals along the coast are going to be a little bit tougher just because there is going to be that rain mixing in there. So if we lean a little bit further towards rain, that's going to mean a lot less snow out there, but not looking at a ton or anything like yesterday if you're along the coast. Now some sunshine for today and tomorrow. Snow starts a little bit later at that point in time. And then as we continue a little bit further in the week, something's coming down the pipeline once again on Wednesday into your day on Thursday. Otherwise along the coast, same general story with this system moving through tomorrow night into Monday morning and the same thing moving through Wednesday night into Thursday. So we're just going to kind of continue on that path, but well, we've gotten more snow so far around, so let's just keep this going. I know, I was going to say, you know, we said last weekend and the weekend before, plenty of time for winter to make up for the lack of winter so far, and it seems like maybe we're going to start to do that. Yeah, so let's just, fingers crossed <laughs> it all keeps working. I, that low tomorrow just goes off the coast a little bit more mm. and get some more snow and less rain, so. That would be good. Let's hope yeah. for that. All right, thank you, Erin.